Hey guys, how you all doing? It's your boy DJ Niger Snipe and we're back at it again. But this time we are with the Q&A, question and answer. And we, we're working on how to um, understand the, um, the certain YouTube policies. Like one, um, we have three topics that we're going to be touching. And we're going to be browsing through them a bit. Um, so you guys can have a little understanding of how these things work. Uh, for one, topic number one is subscriber counts. Uh, topic number two, why am I losing subscribers? Topic number three, which ads pay the most money. Okay, so let's go into it. Um, if you guys haven't subscribed to my channel, please do go ahead and subscribe to DJ Niger Snipe. Um, it will be below in the description. Although you can just subscribe, guys. Uh, you know, I prefer, I, I like my, 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 my subscribers to subscribe, my viewers, as a matter of fact, to subscribe, please, and hit that notification bell, and also give me a thumbs up, um, if this video helps you out, and which I hope it will, and it's right here. Now, guys, what we are doing here is no third party, you are just trying to analyze what YouTube give us, uh, this is inside YouTube help. If you can see right here, let me scroll it down a bit. This is in YouTube, um, YouTube help, right inside. You know, you just type in support. Let me go down a bit more so you can see. Uh, Support.google.com forward slash YouTube forward slash answers. Okay, so you can go ahead and once you're here, it says describe your issue YouTube help describe your issue note some of them are questions that people ask and then what YouTube does YouTube put the most profound answer right there for you apart from their documented documentation that they put there so you can try to understand for yourself um, guys this is no it's, this is not a rush through because what I'm about to go through here I want you guys to understand it to the fullest of, you know so let's go first with subscriber counts now um, we're gonna read together and then we analyze together and please do leave me comments in the comment section um, for anything that we pass that you may not understand and you want to be more clarified about it okay so let's go it says let's start reading from right here right here so we're gonna do this all right it says your subscriber count reflects how many people have subscribed to follow your youtube channel you can find your exact subscriber count in youtube studios so if you're just in the basic youtube um you will see if you know you will see just a mere subscriber um let's say for instance um you're at a hundred subscriber or up to 99 you will can you can find it in youtube stu in um the regular youtube channel just find it on your channel it will show you the exact amount of subscriber but if you want to find out it will show you the exact amount of subscriber under a thousand subscriber but if it's over a thousand subscriber you won't see the exact amount of subscriber in just the regular youtube you will have to go to the YouTube studios to find that and this where I'm going now will explain to you why you have to go there to find that okay now it says to understand public subscriber counts okay if you have let's read this right here together it's right here guys it's not what I'm saying but it's right here um, I'm just going to try to explain it as best as I can, but it's right here. It says, if you have less than a thousand subscriber and one new subscriber, then you will have 1,000 subscriber. But if you have a thousand subscriber and between a thousand subscriber and 900 subs subscriber, you count it like by tens. So it's a 10 new subscriber before any changes occur to your subscriptions. Meaning 10 new subscribers before you see a change in the number of subscribers you actually have. 
so if you have between 10,000 and 99,000 subscribers you will have to have you will have to get a hundred new subscribers before you see any changes to your subscriber count it's right here guys okay if you have 100,000 subscriber between that and 99,000 subscriber you, you will have to be at a thousand subscriber before you see any new subscriber meaning before you see any changes so we don't and the list goes on so to better understand this let's say the first line less than a thousand subscriber one new subscriber after every one subscriber you see changes in you, you get new subscriber you see changes all right let's go down here to better understand that so let's say you have a hundred and twenty three subscribers then the public subscriber count is one two three so 123 one two three so your next public subscriber count would be one two four because it's counted by one so less than a thousand subscriber it's counted by one subscriber so each one subscriber you get it adds to it the subscriber count changes now the second line this is where the tricky part so try to understand it right here people stay with me when you have 1234 subscribers it shows on your page as 1.23 before any changes can occur the next count will be 1.24 because we are counting by tens so let's count by tens let's start it simple say you have 1,000 subscribers 1,000 subscribers now it becomes 1k just 1 and a k it's not nothing else 1 and a k let's say you have a new subscriber added to that you won't see it unless you go into YouTube studios so it won't show on your public page no one will see the changes on your public page because it's counting by tens so until you reach 10 new subscriber after a thousand you won't see a change when you see it at when you when the change occur it becomes 1.10 again it becomes 1.10 subscribers okay which is 1.1 my bad i'm sorry guys i'm sorry i'm not editing it out because this is natural this is all raw i made a mistake it's not 1.10 it's 1.1 subscribers and you care to understand that we do make mistakes so it's 1.1 subscribers meaning um for every 10 count is one so the public subscriber count changes for every 10 count it changes as one you understand what i'm saying so you have so you have 1001 1001 1, 1 subscriber it's not going to show in your public it's still going to be 1000 it's going to be 1k period so you let's say you have 1004 subscriber you're still going to see in your public count 1k it's not going to change to 4 let's say you have 1005 1006 1007 it's still going to be a 1000 1k it won't change you won't see it until you go into um youtube studios but you are not into youtube studio we're talking about what you what your your viewers see so we're talking from the viewers point of view so let's go now so when it goes to 1.9 you're still not going to see the 9 you're only going to see the 1k so when it goes to 10 now that when things changes it's become now 1.1 subscriber but the 1.1k subscriber it means it's 1,010 subscribers 
but it doesn't necessarily mean that it's really 1.10 that's just the method of counting because you can have two more subscribers fall in and you still see 1.10 1.1 1 .1, i mean so when you see the 1.1 k you know it's not going to change again until there's a count of 10 subscribers so when that when you're at 1.1 subscriber and then the count of 10 subscriber added to that changes it you will have when you see over there you know it's 1.20 subscriber now it's 1.2k because if youtube should go why they do this this counting method um if they should go and put the exact number amount of subscribers they won't have no space on the screen i remember um decimal points and um and zeros you, know, you have one that's deal with zero and one that deal with decimal point um so if you should put out the wording of a million subscriber you know how much zeros have to be there on the screen so they use this basic um method of counting to break it down it doesn't mean that you have less than what you should have um you it's there okay so it goes up to the from from so we so why i'm debating on these two um counts which is one to a thousand and one thousand to ten thousand is because this is where once you get to understand it from here then when you reach ten thousand and over you will now understand the difference when you reach um twenty thousand um a uh, hundred thousand and over then you starting to understand the difference again so right now we are just trying to understand the the um the the basics right here so understanding the basics right here uh this shows you again your subscriber count um if it's less than a thousand subscriber it's counted like one two three four five and it's counted in once if it's more than a thousand subscriber then they count it in tens so after every 10 subscriber before you see a change in the amount of subscribers that you have on your public page which is your regular youtube page but if you go into your youtube studios the count will show you different because the count will show you in um in real time the amount that you really have right there but in your regular page that everybody sees is going to show you in 10 it's going to say if it, you know one point whatever if it's 200 subscribers it's going to be 1.20 you understand what i'm saying guys 1.20 okay so i hope you understand this part um of the count and then you know try, do the trial and error remember one is counted in 10 it's go back up here uh the first one is counted in in, in ones the second one is counted in tens and the third one is counted in hundreds and then you have thousands ten thousands hundred one hundred thousand and then you have one million okay so go ahead guys and work it here now let's go over to to um subscriber how subscribers work um not all subscribers work let's go to subscriber count changing this is the part that everyone wants to know why okay let's read together generally it's normal to see fluctuation in your subscriber count if it seems that your subscriber count has changed or dropped it could be for one of these reasons and this is from youtube again so first reason they say viewers are unsubscribing and subscribing to your channel for more information on this when you click on this it should bring you to a video that kind of explain this some more but period it's telling you right here that your viewers are subscribing and unsubscribing to your channel there can be so much reasons with this part from the viewers this is from the viewers meaning this is from the subscribers point youtube is telling you that some of it plays on your subscriber one they don't like that they subscribe to your channel and don't like the contents that they are seeing 
and they wish to unsubscribe to they subscribe to your channel and when they go to another device it doesn't show that they subscribe to your channel and upon clicking that subscribe it automatically cancels out itself when it refresh cancels out that instead of they think they didn't subscribe at first and hit that button it automatically cancels it out so they unsubscribe unknowingly okay that's all inside viewers and unsubscribe subscribing and unsubscribing and um, this is the part with the viewers uh, so you have different parts that have to do with subscriber account changing or dropping um, and there's more the reason on the viewers point too okay so most, most of it so this is, say, is saying to you that the viewers are subscribing and unsubscribing and again we say it occurs if they see the content the content that you have there they don't like the content then they unsubscribe most of them instead of turning off the notification bell because a lot of people even though you keep saying notification bell they don't understand the difference on the notification bells okay so instead of doing that let me just go straight bam because the button is right there it's a big big button to unsubscribe so they just click bam unsubscribe we don't want nothing more from this channel and that's it so that part blames on the viewers the next part is now it's youtube say we've remove spam subscriber subscribers from your channel if impacted you will see an alert in youtube studio guys plain and serious um, remember youtube is controlled by google they without a google account you can't have a youtube account you can view through youtube you can watch videos you can watch these things and view on YouTube but you won't be allowed to partake of anything in YouTube like um, comments on live like comment on anything you know until you have a YouTube con uh, uh, account so most of these accounts are spam accounts and spam accounts are, gener are generally like like you know um, let's click on this for once let's click on one okay let's let's click uh, click on um okay spam account okay removing close account and spammy subscribers close accounts these are accounts that are let me go down where it removing close account and spammy subscribers close accounts these are accounts that are either closed by the user or terminated by youtube due to a policy violation remember the policy violation can comes from um, whether it's strikes and three strikes and you're out that's what of that's YouTube main policy violation three strikes and you're out and all once it's three strikes and you're out that's just the bottom line right there because what can make you streak three strikes and you're out someone um, report that you're using their content without their um, their permission YouTube give you one um, once the first strike that YouTube give you is a warning strike either you seek permission from this person then if you seek permission from the person and the person chooses to report back that to YouTube YouTube will re really remove that strike but if you can seek permission and it's gonna be there it's gonna stay there for um, a don't quite remember if it's 90 days which is three months it's going to be there in your account and then it automatically remove it says remove itself I got one of those strike um, prior to and it end up removing itself okay so now and remember that strikes are different from from um, uh, copyright violations okay uh, strikes is there's a strike against your name um, a copyright violation means that either the copyrighted um, document is permitted in some countries and it's not permitted in some and you don't have permission to to um, to use it 
um, other than for rebroadcasting. They will give you some 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 minor um, opportunity to use this, minor permissions, I, sh I should say. You can use it, but you can't gain um, money off it. You cannot make no money off these things, okay? And we're gonna get to the next part of um, videos that you can you make money off, okay? But let's let's talk about these accounts that being removed. Um, so, spam uh, uh, spam subscribers, subscribers gain through artificial means, such as purchasing subscribers through a third party service. No. Now that's very serious guys. When they say um, they will they remove these subscribers, they don't strike you, they just take them away. Um, because they have so much account that YouTube will will will, will spam these accounts. Sometimes if you check your email, your email um, automatically pushes some of your email into an account and call it spam. So if, if YouTube algorithms um, suspect these accounts, then YouTube algorithm is going to um, spam whatever there is because YouTube algorithm is very it's a it's a it's a, a, um, a it's a sensitive sensitive um, software okay when it's a mainframe or it's very sensitive because true uh, Google is mostly Google YouTube um, Google runs YouTube security so when you're going when, when there's a problem it goes through google i remember google is known for uh blocking spammy account is known for flogging things and so forth because they are the the leader in that so you um google controls this stuff so youtube is just a platform that you go you go through now again we say um because if you look, all of these are coming through Google. It says support google.com forward slash YouTube. Okay? So, um, so, if we read down here, it says, you know, we regularly verify the legitimacy of the accounts and action on your YouTube channel. We also may make correction to cite metric matrix in YouTube analytics to fix consistency issues across different source. These process make sure that our site metrics are free of spam, abuse, and close accounts to keep YouTube a fair place for everyone. Uh, which is which is right, because if someone closes an account, because you have people that okay more than one reasons why people can close an account one of these reasons are uh let's say you are doing something and you created an account now that same account that you have you have an account prior to and um on your device for years and you never logged out of that account and somehow now you get a new device and you want to log into this new device but somehow you can't remember the password you can't remember um, all those things I'm talking from like from from i5 days from when myspace was the social media page above YouTube I'm talking from what they have AOL CD disk where in which they send you out a disk in the mail you use it as long as you have a phone line you plug the phone line in the computer you use it for a dial-up service to have an a email account you have people that still have an AOL account uh, email you have people that uses um, hotmail you know you have people that right now that that's saying what's hotmail you know because they know about Google mail and so forth it you know things sometimes changes everything uh, evolve into a different day and age so um, with all those saying um, we, we 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 are talking about you changing your account so now when you're you, when you're changing the account because you have a new device uh, can't find, can't remember none of those passwords to log back in, log, log back in. Um, when you go through to create a new account 
and Google will say, oh, this, these information, they are associated with a prior account. Um, and you want to create a new account because you can't find, you can't remember nothing. Now you lock the account because all your tries and all verification method that you have to get back in these accounts, uh, you exceed them. You can't get it. You can't find a period. It done. Bam. It, it, it obsolete. Um, it's just like if you're trying to take a, a, a StarTac or, 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 or one of those um, um, flip to the store to have them to say, hey, I need to reactivate this. They will laugh and say to you, hey, reactivate what? This is obsolete. This is this has passed its time. So in saying that, guys, um, so you put in new information here. YouTube will go, no, you, not YouTube, Google will go because you have to make the account at Google for it to be registered with YouTube. So Google will go and say, do you want to disassociate this information with the prior account that you have? When you disassociate this information because you want to create this new account now, so you want to, you're done with that one, it becomes a null and void account. So once it's null and void, it's no longer useful so the subscriber that that goes with that has to be removed the only thing that won't be removed are the views that it has done in the past because the views still stand permanent permanent but for it to be subscribed to that account there is nothing there there is no longer an account there you have to remove everything you have to remove the presence of that account there but what that account did there you YouTube don't remove it which is the account did a comment the account did they did, did um, st um, stuff what you will most likely see there is something saying this account is no longer active you know when re YouTube remove those stuff they will leave a space card there has to be a space holder something was there prior to okay so um, so just hope this an answers your your um, answers that for you and then right here now this next line it says it's important that subscribers numbers stay meaningful to make sure that when your subscriber count grows it it's because you are organic or organally or, my bad building a community of authentic fans who will keep watching and supporting you and it goes again and say close accounts and subscribers that are identified as spam won't count, count towards your total of your total number of subscribers it says close accounts and subscribers that are identified as spam won't count towards your total number of subscribers they also won't show in your subscribers list since these are artificial accounts removing them does not impact views or watch time you hear that part remove since these are not artificial no since these are artificial actions removing them does not impact views or watch time so it goes back to say when they remove these your views and your watch time still stays where they're at but these subscribers they remove and if you don't if you still don't understand what's going on here just go to help take your time take your time and and um and read it and it should explain it to you now we are we are at this part that calls understanding the ad revenue analytics this is a part that learn how to earn money on youtube the the article this article is about youtube analysts analytics okay you can see how much money you're earning on youtube and your channel performance using matrix from the youtube analytics some matrix seems similar but they are different or important for understanding your YouTube revenue 
below are some commonly used metrics and information on why it's important to know the difference okay remember matrix <clears throat> they are like a method of um of measurements okay these are like these are a method of measurements you have rpm which are revolution per minutes um that's how fast a motor spins so youtube one is 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 rpm is revenue per milli okay so revenue per milli is a metrics that presents how much money you've earned per thousand video views okay so um video views uh one thousand you um it's right here so one thousand views on a video uh this is all the the calculate how much money you make from here this this is not per the ads yet you know this is just per the views you know it says revenue per milli is a matrix that represents how much money you earn per 1000 video views rpm then now rpm is based on a multiple revenue source including ads channel membership youtube premium revenue super chat and super sticker so how many how many ways here you're going you can make money one two three four and five five different ways do you understand what he's saying ads those are the things that I put on your video um, you can choose to have ads there or no ads there but it but it's still you still will be able to earn revenue if you don't put ads on your videos you still are able to earn revenue based on this method right here which is 1000 video views the rpm okay so again how is my rpm lower than my cpm these are questions that were asked so we are going straight to cpm okay so cpm per 1000 impressions 1000 impressions impressions what are impressions people um, impressions are are the stuff that goes on with your video uh, is you know read it now cost per 1000 impression is a matrix that represents how much money and how much money advertisers are spending to show ads on YouTube you will see a few different CMP matrix in your in, in YouTube analytics okay CMP cost an advisor pay for a thousand ads impression an ad impression is counted anytime an ad is displayed guys did you hear what this says it's right here did not say how many times the ad is played it says oh right here an ad the, the cost of an advertiser pay for a thousand ad impressions an ad impression is counted anytime an ad is displayed so your ads don't have to be played it just display just boom, just did it just show on the screen you make money right from it right away so now playback base cpm down here it says the cost an advisors pay an advertiser pay for a thousand video playbacks when an ad is displayed don't understand what they mean a thousand video playbacks so each time the video play back where an ad is display playback ads display playback ad display playback ad display you make money these are from the ads world ads world guys
So what's the difference between CPM and playback based CPM? These are two. One is CPM is the cost an advisor pays for an for 1,000 ad impressions. An ad impression is counted any time an ad is displayed. Once the ad jump on your screen, you get paid every thousand of those you get paid for so that's different from when the ads when, when, when you play back the video with an ads you get paid for that one different so it's like it's like you're saying then um i have this ads on my video but when i watch it so what if i watch the watch the video again and the same ads appear do i make money back off that ads appear um it's right here to understand the difference in two. One is when you re-watch the video with the same ads. Or two, remember the first one is when the ads pop up on your screen. The ads display, whichever you put the ads, it show. The first sight of it, you make money off it. The people keep saying, hey, watch the ads guys, watch the ads guys. Come on, understanding it right here. What's the difference between CPM and play back base CPM understand it right here guys the bullets shows you the main part of it if you want to go into detail you can go further into detail it says what's the difference videos on YouTube can have more than one ads CPM focus on the advertisers cost for ads impression playback base CPM focus on the advertiser cost for a video playback that includes one or more ads. Your playback based CPM is often higher than your CPM. You understand me? The playback based CPM is oftentimes higher than your CPM. So, for example, say your video is viewed 5,000 times. 1,000 views include one ad and 500 views, other views include two ads for a total of 1,500 views with ads. This means there were 2,000 individual ads impression but only 1,500 monetized playback. guys do you understand it says for example say your video is viewed 5,000 times 1,000 views include one ads and 500 other views include two ads and for a total of 1,500 views with ads, this means there were 2,000 individual ads impression, but 1,000 only 1,500 monetized playback. Remember, remember, you are saying. Or can $1,500 mean $2,000? Where do the maths come from? $1,000 stands for one time. $500, two times. So, the math says 1,500 views included one ad. And 500 other views includes two two ads so the, the other 500 views you had two ads in those 500 views so the first one one is just one ads in that in, in, in you you watch in those views so when you view the video and the ads come up it was watched one time so when you view the video so when you play it back and the ads come up two and the ads come up twice you watch it two times so this means there were 2,000 individual ads impression and these are just impression guys 
these weren't weren't you watch the videos you watch the ads because remember your video are 500 times a video was viewed but the ads came up in the video one time and then included ad and five time other views included two ads playback views so guys let's say the advertiser pays seven dollars total the video cost per impression would equal seven dollars advertisers costs divided by 2000 at impression that would mean that it's less than cents it wouldn't even recognize right and then the cpm or cost per thousand impression would have then equal to way that's that's um zero zero three point zero zero three five of ten cents times so it's in even one cent it's so much less than a cent you know one one thousand or three r is equal to three dollar fifty the playback base cpm would equal to seven dollar divided by that amount and the, and the play and the time monetized playback time of, of one thousand or four dollars and sixty seven cents okay so guys it's all here for you to try to understand um, but these are just our deep down information here as to understanding um, what ads pay do you have to watch a full entirety of the ads to get money from it no no it's showing you here it's saying impressions impressions guys come on when you were young and they teaching you the first impression last that's the first view well, it's an impression. Okay, so all right now, so let's go down to estimated revenue versus ad revenue. So let's get to this this part of it. All right, so guys, um, this is going for one hour. Um, it depends on how you guys want to want to understand this. So let's get straight to it. Uh, views the number of time your video was watched okay views and views ads impression and estimated monetized playback so let's go we have three here views the number of time your video was watched two ads impression the number of time individual ads were viewed on your video and three estimated monetized playback the number of time your video was watched with ads these are estimated money playback so you have three different methods of making money here views the number of time your video was watched two ads impression the number of time individual were individual ads were viewed on your video um, estimated monetized playback the number of time your video was watched with ads okay so this is more when they watch the video then watch the then then and see that watch the ads um, and then you know watch the video and watch the ads so if your video is viewed 10 times and eight of those views containing ads you would have 10 viewed and 10 and eight estimated monetized playback okay if your video is viewed 10 times and eight out of those 10 views contain ads you would have 10 views and eight estimated monetized playback if one of these estimated monetized playback actually have two ads you would have nine ads impressions okay you would have had nine ads impressions regardless it have two one of them have um you have eight and two the two would count as just one because it's an ads impression okay meaning that there's an ad on your video so an ads impression so 
again if one of these estimated monetized playback actually had two ads you would have had nine ads impression so when you have eight estimated monetized playback if one of these estimated monetized playback actually have two so these so this two count into this eight gives you nine because remember one is already here already so adding one more to it gives you nine right so you have eight estimated already so but one of the eight but you know this you know this estimated um monetized playback you have an extra one which is because one of them one of the video them one of the monetized playback is actually two instead of one so two and seven inside here so will lead up to nine okay so and it said not all views on youtube have an ads a view may not have an ads if an ads if the video is not advertised friendly ads are individual ads format are turn off for that video so it says not all views on youtube have an ads a view may not have an ads if the video is not advertiser friendly ads are individual ads format are turn off for the video there isn't an ad available to show at that particular viewer at that time advertisers can choose to target specific device democracy um, de demographs and interests your viewers may not match the targeting learn more about available targeting method for video ads okay three a range of other factors included the viewers country now recently they have seen an ad where they have a premium subscription because of this you will likely have more viewers than estimated monetized playback because this is showing you that on everything you're getting paid for in in, 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 in in YouTube okay so these are where the ads are and all they they calculate or calculate the ads and how you you you'll get paid for them guys um, let's go into the 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 the, the last one which is what I want to show you um, let's bring this up on screen okay this is from my, my personal YouTube uh, page I just choose to show you um, the ads type and what pays the more the most that I've seen and this is your ads revenue last 28 days whether they want to last 28 days or whatever um, or the lifetime or whatever skippable ads auction auction bro 80.9 percent of the revenue generated comes from skippable ads video auction because remember as I say to you um, the ads if you go back to to right here this term adds impressions adds impressions skippable ads contain as impressions right because the ads gonna come up anyhow um, regardless you have some of them up three seconds five seconds before you can skip it they create an impression on your video so um, bumper stickers you know you can go and research the difference with these other rest bumper stickers um, the display ads the one that stays on your, your screen um, and so forth these are a, a, a count they, they are less you know um, non skippable video ads these are the long ever the, the ones that you can skip these are not really the long everlasting because the, the skippable ads are some of them are everlasting but you can skip them 
but the non-skippable ads are ads that really you know have to play it stored but who wants those on their screen nobody wants those on their screen you don't get no money for those ads you understand me and um but one two three four but for these basic four uh guys it's been a pleasure uh Right now you can do some Q&A, you can ask me some question and I will research it um, uh, so that I can let you guys better understand a few more things of understanding um, YouTube. Um, but it's all here, it's, um, it's, uh, it's here for you guys to, to, to use, to do your research. Um, go ahead, uh, type in your question, describe, it says describe your issue. When you describe your issue you're not going to a third party you're going straight to youtube so you're in youtube help um don't venture outside of this platform because i myself really don't trust outside sources you know I, I try to 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 seek um what's been published who publish it or um legit is the source behind it um and then do my research on it and that all I's and cross all T's. So it's right here, YouTube. This is a breakdown in the three main topics, subscriber count, um, the ads, uh, your yeah, mid rolls, you know, so you want, you can study the rest. And um, I hope this did help you guys. Remember to like, subscribe and, and share. Hit that post notification bell as you will be prompt when I upload new videos. Uh, remember if you don't hit that notification bell, you won't be prompt of the videos. You'll just hear someone telling you about um, the videos and you will still be asking questions. Um, and also remember to leave me a feedback. Uh, tell me how did I do? And um, if this helped you out guys, uh, Leave a thumbs up as always. It's your boy DJ Nigel Snap. Remember to share the channel and you all have a blessed day. And from me here at Nigel Snap, it's peace. I'm out.